The Morgue Monster, David Fuller. Back in 1987, two young women were murdered and sexually abused in separate attacks in Kent, England. Wendy Nell was a 25-year-old manager at Supersnaps who lived alone in her flat on Guildford Road, Tunbridge Wells. On the 22nd of June, Wendy was dropped off at her house by her boyfriend, Ian Plass. Nothing was out of the ordinary that evening, but the following day, Wendy failed to show up for her shift and her mother, Pamela, couldn't reach her daughter by phone. Worried something had happened, Pamela asked Ian to go and check on Wendy, but there was no answer at the door. As Ian didn't have a key, he climbed through an unsecured window in his girlfriend's flat and made a gruesome discovery. Wendy lay dead in her bed. She had been beaten with a blunt instrument, strangled and raped. The medical examiner couldn't say for sure in which order. Wendy seemed to have been taken by surprise as there were no signs of a struggle, but her killer had left evidence behind, a bloody footprint and semen. Back in 1987, DNA testing was still in its infancy and wasn't really helpful due to such limited technology and a small existing database. As the police didn't have much else to work with, the investigation into Wendy's murder barely progressed. And then, just a few months later, the killer struck again. On the 24th of November, 1987, a 20-year-old manager at an American restaurant, Buster Browns, named Caroline Pierce, returned home in Grosvenor Park, Tunbridge Wells, by taxi after seeing some friends. But before she could get inside, something happened. Neighbours later reported hearing screams and a woman yelling, no, but nobody saw anything out of the ordinary. The following day, Caroline missed her shift and nobody heard from her for weeks. It wasn't until the 15th of December that Caroline's half-naked body was found more than 40 miles away from her home in a water-filled duke at St. Mary in the Marsh on the Romney Marshes. Caroline had been hit in the head, strangled and sexually assaulted, just like Wendy. Again, the forensic team recovered semen from the crime scene and the two murders were linked together. But the police failed to find Caroline and Wendy's killer and for years, it seemed like their cases would never be solved. It would take over three decades and much improvement in DNA technology for the authorities to finally get their breakthrough. By 2020, investigators had a name of a suspect. But when 66-year-old David Fuller's home was raided, it was realized that while the relatives of two young women were about to get long-awaited justice, for many other families, a nightmare was just beginning. You can hear the full, twisted details by searching True Crime Britain, Episode 11, on Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Or just visit www.truecrimebritain.com.